Two weeks from now, we'll have another major update for Modern Warfare 2. Whether or not that's the only one we get in that time frame, we don't know quite yet, but we do know that a major update is coming on the 14th. Why? Because the 14th is the currently scheduled mid-season update, Season 1 Reloaded, if the marketing stays the same as years prior, where we'll get the rest of what we're promised for Season 1 and maybe even more. So today we're going to be taking a first look at what you can and should expect with the upcoming additions to Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and perhaps even DMZ. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below. What are you hoping to see with Season 1 Reloaded? Anything more than what is already detailed out there officially? What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, you can find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. We'll keep you the day with everything as we chase down 600,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to join the community, I'd love to have you. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel Code Espresso's 20% off your entire order. But for now, let's take a look at what we've got on deck for Season 1 Reloaded and what may lie beyond that as well. So let's start out with the stuff we know for sure. The stuff that has already been detailed officially by Call of Duty themselves. From the currently available launch roadmap, we've still got a bit of content that's yet to be released to the general public. That would be a new returning map of shipment, a new weapon of the Chimera assault rifle, new operators of Klaus and Gaz, and the new Spec Ops raids coming to co-op as well. So to break these down a little further, shipment is going to be our 6v6 map introduction here with mid-season. This was described a little bit in the official season one blog post, where it detailed a bit of the setting change here with this, where it's now set on a cargo ship taking on water in a storm-ridden part of the Atlantic Ocean. A new shipment is ready to bring back the chaos so that only the ultra compact map can provide. So this time around, we're actually actually on a cargo vessel, and it's something that's going to be reminiscent of the mission at Darkwater, whenever you end up breaching and clearing that ship in hopes of finding the controls for the missile that's going to be launched. That's what you can think of whenever you think of the new version of shipment, though it's still just as tightly packed, just as chaotic, and it looks like we might have some different angles here in regards to verticality being cut off. It doesn't seem like from the image that they provided, we have the ability to jump up on top of containers like we did in Modern Warfare 2019, offering that sort of second level of play, which is good or bad depending on who you're asking, but it also cuts down on some of the visibility, maybe on some of the cross nade spots as well. So we'll see some changes here in terms of gameplay loop likely happening with this as well. Next, we know of the Chimera, a brand new assault rifle coming within season one reloaded as well, described as with an integrated suppressor and slow high energy 300 BLK rounds. The Chimera is adept at close quarters combat, subsonic ammo hide skulls from the enemy team. This being reminiscent of that honey badger from COD Ghost. And it's something we saw all the way in the pre-release marketing and everything that it was a preferred weapon of Ghost so it'll be nice to have this in the armory as well. It's stated that we have the ability to unlock it via a store bundle or weapon unlock challenge, though that's one thing that I want to dive deeper into because we don't have any details on what that challenge will be just yet, so while it isn't necessarily confirmed with the M13B requiring us to go into DMZ and completely go out of our way to unlock this weapon as opposed to just doing it in MP. Just be open to the idea that that might happen again here. While it's not confirmed, we might have something that is specific to DMZ or Warzone that incentivizes play there. And I'm really curious if they're going to handle this with both a multiplayer challenge and perhaps a DMZ challenge and a store bundle because right now, I mean, we still don't have that store bundle or additional weapon challenge for the M13B. So, We'll have to wait and see how that all breaks down. But one other thing to note about this, regardless of how you unlock it, regardless of how it plays in multiplayer and or Warzone, it's another weapon that you can end up using to work towards Polyatomic or Orion camo if you're interested in that grind. The nice part about Orion and Polyatomic this year is that you don't necessarily need specific categories of Platinum. You just need a certain total number of them. So while to a degree, you will have to get every single weapon gold at a certain point to unlock Platinum for certain classifications, you don't have to go that extra step for weapons that you don't want to go for. So with the required total for polyatomic in terms of platinum and then Orion for polyatomic unlocks, you only need 51 of those weapons completed. With four weapons introduced thus far as the mid-season update with season one, that's four additional weapons you could take off the board elsewhere from your grind. Maybe that's all of your launcher category. Maybe that's three launchers in the riot shield. However you want to break it down, whatever's easiest to you, you can end up using that to your advantage. So just know that's another added benefit here with the Chimera. Now beyond that, we'll have the new operators of Klaus and Gaz Gaz making your turn here from the campaign. Klaus being a newer introduction, but these are going to be introduced via shop bundles, so not really too concerned here about this, but we'll talk about the sort of significance that we have with two launches of two operators in just a second. But then we, of course, have that new Spec Ops raid coming. That's the next big part here to the mid-season update that we know about, where not much is really described other than it's continuing the story of Modern Warfare 2's campaign, and it'll be the ultimate challenge for trios with a mix of stealth, all-out action, and puzzle-solving objectives. Hopefully, this is something that ends up yielding a decent amount of rewards, something that is 
is pretty cool and we're likely going to be seeing more information here on this probably sometime next week in the seven day period leading up to the mid-season update that's when i would expect all this to happen here and we get more information on this but also more stuff for season one now that said that is the stuff that we know about for season one reloaded and what has been detailed from the very beginning but the question now turns to, well, is this anything that we'll see surprise additions on top of this in terms of additional content beyond just this? Because what we have right now, that's kind of a minimal amount of things. But the season, if you take a look at it, won't end for another month and a half beyond the mid-season update. That's a lot of downtime to do nothing in game if that truly is all that we'll be getting with no additional content updates. If we follow past patterns, we'll burn through the rest of that stuff within two weeks or so past the launch of Season 1 Reloaded. The map, that'll come at launch. The weapon, that'll come at launch. One of the operators will come at launch, then normally about two weeks after that, they usually release bundles of operators in two-week intervals. That'll be something that will finish that out two weeks after the launch of mid-season. But the raid, again, we're only likely seeing that one with the mid-season update. That'll be on the 14th, and we won't see another one for a little while. So are we really going to go from a relative time frame of about Christmas until February 1st when the Battle Pass timer ends? without any sort of content or updates? Or is it possible that we see more? Because one thing that always, especially in situations like this, where it seems like it's very top heavy and then with a lot of downtime, the one thing I always go back to is Black Ops Cold War's first season. It was a prime example of this, where everything was front loaded. And then with the mid season update, it seemed like at least until the marketing for that came out, that we wouldn't really have a whole ton to work with and content to end up getting with that update and beyond. But at mid season, we got a brand new roadmap in that Black Ops Cold War season one reloaded and we ended up getting more content than we anticipated including an additional multiplayer map on top of what we already knew we were getting so is it possible we see that here again honestly I'm really hoping so, because as we've talked about before, the fact that Vanguard only had two maps for multiplayer per season, that was a franchise low amount of post-launch support. The fact that we have now one of the biggest offerings, or at least marketed as such here with Modern Warfare 2 across Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ, and what we'll see also with raids, fingers crossed that with that, we don't see this now fall to the back burner where we only get two multiplayer maps a season once again. I would at least hope with how big of a game this is being marketed and whereas Vanguard, they kind of had reason to just kind of forget about it, both in terms of reception and the rumor that they're working on the next installment of Modern Warfare 2 year two of content. But again, we've covered that at a different point. It would just almost feel insulting to have something that's been marketed as such a content heavy game only have two multiplayer maps from the start to finish of an entire season. I don't know if that's just me or not, but that's how I'd feel about it. And also there's a handful of additional variables that we don't quite have information on just yet that are going to be coming at some time in the near future, perhaps with this update, perhaps shortly thereafter. But we have things like ranked play and also the more immediate viewpoint of that, the CDL mosh pit that should have been here already, something that preps us for ranked play. That stuff's still on the horizon. Gunfight has been something that they stated was around season one, but this was like months ago, well before the game was ever shown off in terms of the reveal trailer, even let alone multiplayer gameplay and stuff. So gunfight could be something on the horizon. We of course have those new modes of bounty and cyber attack that we have seen introduced just yet in the public realm of things they're there in the private matches if you want to play around with that so that stuff could be coming as well but there's a lot that could be coming but also a lot of things that leave question marks as well as to well maybe there is a little more and then on the Warzone 2 side of things, this is total and pure speculation because quite literally nothing has been laid out just yet in regards to Warzone and DMZ. My guess is we'll see our first round of weapon tuning. I'm not really expecting a whole ton in terms of map changes, but some weapon balancing perhaps, some things like quality of life changes, maybe some stability issues, fingers crossed, because right now I haven't even touched Warzone in the last, I don't know, seven days or so since our last Warzone video. I think that was last maybe Friday, and then a couple of days before that I hadn't really played because I've been crashing so much. It was about every third game I could guarantee that I was going to crash, so it's something that, fingers crossed, stability is something that has worked out as well. But then on the DMZ side, full transparency, I just have not had the time to dive too deep into the grind of DMZ. Very excited to do so here in the next coming days, but for the time being, I couldn't off the top of my head tell you, okay, maybe this is adjusted, maybe this is something that's added to the game itself, so we'll have to see what kind of stuff comes with the mid-season update, but again, with nothing being detailed at all for either of those. The big things that were detailed out of the roadmap and the blog post were that, well, they're coming with season one. So they didn't detail anything 
beyond that. But that said, that's our first look at what we can expect and maybe a few surprises as well within Season 1 Reloaded here, upcoming in just two weeks' time. So that said, let me know your thoughts down below. We're, of course, going to see a lot more stuff officially detailed probably as of next week, leading up into that seven-day countdown before the mid-season update. But for now, I wanted to prep you guys for a little bit of, okay, well, now we can start looking forward to what's next. So let me know your thoughts down below. What are you guys looking forward to the most with the mid-season update? Is there anything that you would like to see as a surprise addition? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and anything COD related. We'll keep you the day with absolutely everything you need to know, so I'd love to have in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.